Welcome to Talent Development Secondary's video series. In this video, you'll be viewing the participants of an EWI meeting as they discuss a student. During EWI meetings, an interdisciplinary teacher team discusses a number of students where the data indicates they are struggling with one or more of the EWI indicators. These indicators are attendance, behavior, and course performance, or the ABCs and are the basic building blocks that effective EWI meeting discussions are based upon. Here's TDS's co-director, Robert Belfans, talking about the ABC indicators. All existing research agrees that the strongest on and off track indicators are the ABCs, attendance, behavior, and course performance. Hence, it is important for schools and districts to know their own data and in particular to establish the points at which monitoring and intervention are needed. Any school can get started using early warning indicators, by using the data in their grade books, attendance sheets, and office referrals to identify students who are signaling they are on and off track to high school graduation, college, and career ready. Now, let's watch the EWI discussion of Adrian, a freshman with off track indicators, and how the teacher team uses the ABC indicators and other data during their discussion. The team will be using a protocol to help structure their conversation. First, they identify which of the off track indicators that Adrian is exhibiting and each team member provides information on Adrian's behavior and performance in their class. Next, they will identify strategies that have been successful in the past or areas of strength that the student has. And finally, the team members will discuss effective intervention options and determine a follow-up plan. In this video, the interdisciplinary team participating in the EWI meeting consists of Mr. Rhodes, the social studies teacher, Mr. Johnson, the math teacher, Mr. Schwab, the English teacher, the meeting facilitator, and, as in many participating schools, other student support staff. In this video, this includes a Communities and Schools site coordinator and City Year Corps member who are part of the Diplomas Now partnership. All right, so the next student we want to discuss is Adrian, and Adrian is actually flagged for two different indicators. Um, the first one is for behavior. Um, has four, four behavior referrals during the month of September and also was suspended yesterday. Um, the second indicator is currently getting an F in, in uh, English language arts. So those are the two indicators of why we're discussing and then I'll share the rest of the, um, the data profile as you can see on the board. So doing fine in attendance, um, no days absent so far this year, pretty good attendance last year. Um, behavior did not seem to be an issue last year, only two referrals for the full school year. Um, in course performance, had an A at the end of last year in math, um, doing, uh, getting a high B so far this year, and was basic on the state assessment. In ELA, like I mentioned, getting an F at a 53% in ELA so far this year, and uh, had a C at the end of last year and basic in ELA uh, for the state assessment as well. So again, we'll start with, uh, start with updates for Adrian. Um, let's start with social studies again. So Adrian, uh, she is a stellar student in my class. I don't have any problems out of her. She has excellent um, behavior in my class. And she's really interested in geography, working with math. So that I guess she kind of found her niche um, in my class, but she's actually one of my, one of my better students. Um, how about ELA? ELA is a problem. Um, that's where she's failing so far, although she's attempting to complete the work and her her attendance really isn't bad. I don't, her attendance isn't what, where her problems lie. Um, she attempts the assignments but hands in incomplete um, work. Um, she seems to be having difficulty with the material. I've asked her to come back for coach class. Um, but so far, um, in the last four weeks, she hasn't come back at all. I think there may be some things that I could work with her individually on uh, that there really isn't time for in class. And she doesn't, she's not forthcoming. She doesn't, she won't come up to the desk with a problem, um, I think because there are other people in the room. But she also won't come after school, which I would think would be a good opportunity for her to, to look at her work. And, um, Oh, in, a, in a more honest way. Uh, and math? Uh. So in math, um, it's kind of interesting. She, 
she's pretty smart in math, and, and that might be a little dilemma because I think she's trying to rely on which you know her skills from middle school because uh, she's not really paying much attention and, and she's kind of distracting the class. Uh, she gets it quickly and wants to finish her assignment quickly, but doesn't really want to engage in the in the lesson or the topics and the discussions we have. Um, she just wants to wrap it up and move on. Um, so you know, I made a phone call home about that and and talked to talk to the mom and the mom said, yeah, she's pretty excited about different things in high school. She's just, you know, there's just a different thing going on there. She's not as tuned to school as much as she seems, to, at least from my discussion with her. Well, it's almost a similar thing. So. All right, other updates um, for Adrian? I got a note from the, um, from the vice principal yesterday that there was some issue at lunch, um, but I didn't have an opportunity to talk with her before whatever this was ended in the suspension. Um, my hope is to uh, catch her and the parent when they come in for this uh, re-entry conference after the suspension and see about what's going on. Uh, anything else for <clears throat> No, I've just noticed that she's been struggling um, in the LA, and so I just know that um, I need to make a better effort to work with her with her assignments um, because it does seem apparent that um, she needs that extra attention um, for her assignments. And if she's not coming back for coach class, then at least um, I can help her out during class, and during the period. So I know we started talking about some of the interventions for Adrian, um, but wanted to move us forward to what has, uh, we've been working on towards uh, new interventions that we, uh, we need to address for Adrian. So Adrian works really well in my class, and I think one of the reasons why she works really well in my class is because she likes working with projects. So what I was thinking is that maybe we all could get together and come up with some type of an interdisciplinary project that she can be really involved with because she likes doing a lot of research on the computer and she likes actually designing things so that there's an end product. So that might be a good idea. That might, might actually work with, uh, for her. Very good idea. Are there other teachers okay with that or interested in that? I think that would work well. Uh, she might finish quickly with the assignment we have. It might give her something to do for the rest of the period. And, and I'd like to try that. That would be a good thing to see. And EOA? I'm going to make more of an effort to, to see her um, individually. Um, just expecting her to come back to my class isn't working. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give mom a call uh, because the transition from middle school to high school seems to be a very difficult one for her. She wasn't the greatest student in middle school, but uh, she's dropped two full grades since the end of last year. Um, and, and it may just be the material because she's evidently doing well in other classes, but there may be other things involved also. There may be some kids in her ninth grade class, English class that aren't in her math class or her history class uh, that are, so the issues may not be just not finishing the work. Because she does try to do the work, she's just, her mind seems to be somewhere else. So just uh, back on the interdisciplinary project, do we, does someone want to be a point person for that? Or can someone be kind of a point person to pull all the teachers from our team together for that? Yeah, sure, since it was my idea, I'll do it. Okay, so we can put you down for that, Mr. Rose. Um, okay, so we have a couple of things. Um, Mr. Schwab is gonna check, check in with mom. Uh, Mr. Rhodes is kind of head up that interdisciplinary project among all of the teachers. Um, anything else that we need to do? Um, I'm going to process with the student when she comes back from suspension. I need to check with the vice principal to see when she's due back. I know that's typically like a three-day suspension. So let me check and see when she's coming back, and I'll try to uh, sit in on the readmit conference and then process with the student to kind of see what this conflict is with her and Sarah. Okay, and Ms. Walker, when you after you do that, can you, or for what whatever you are able to share, can you share that back with us at our as our team, sure. so we know what else we can do to support sure. that. Sure. And you said that, that they're in. Are they in your class together? Sarah uh, and no, 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 Sarah isn't. But they go to lunch. They, they have together. the same lunch period. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other 
Okay, so just quickly to review, I have we're gonna, uh, Mr. Rhodes is going to kind of take the lead on the interdisciplinary project and touch base with, with all the teachers as part of our team. Um, Mr. Schwab is going to check in with mom just to see if there's anything glaring that we need to be aware of. And Ms. Walker will check in with the AP during reinstatement and um, see what, what else we need to, kind of next steps there. Um, when do we want to follow up on, on these items? We, uh, our next meeting, or are some of them okay to wait a little bit longer? What's our, what's our timeline? I think we should wait a little bit longer for this, um, well, at least for the interdisciplinary project, because it is going to take some time to kind of develop it and then to get it started. Okay. I could at least provide the team an update um, in regards to the readmit conference and the processing in regards to her um, personal issues with Sarah. I can follow up with the team the next time we meet. And I'll probably have something to share with the team after I talk to her mother tonight. Okay. So I'll say October 10th at our next meeting, we'll do follow up on those two items and then we'll Good. wait so it'll be a little bit longer. Um, at least two meetings out for our interdisciplinary project. Okay. So you guys have a chance to get started on that. Um, okay. Anything else on Adrian before we move to the next student? As this discussion demonstrates, EWI meetings can be a productive tool for school staff as they support students in staying on track toward graduating high school, college, and career ready. Thank you for watching and please view the other titles in Talent Development Secondary's video series.